Hi. Lots of love to everyone at Boosted. Uh, I'm just going to quickly answer the questions that Simone sent through um, so that this doesn't get too long, but love you all. Uh, I'm up here at my dad's at the moment, which is where it all started and finished actually with my Boosted campaign. Um, it was really special to be able to be here with my dad, uh, who I'm writing about, uh, through through that process. Uh, the questions that Simone's given me, the first ones, had you crowdfunded before, what was your experience and how did it go? If you hadn't crowdfunded before, what, you, what were your expectations? No, I hadn't. Uh, I knew that it existed though, and I'd, you know, talked to people who'd done it. I'd read about Taika's experience of, um, you know, having to make lots of, um, spend lots of time making rewards. Uh, so I liked that about Boosted. I liked its credibility. I liked the look of the site and the usability of the site. And I was basically encouraged by, um, by some friends I really trusted. Um, what were the main challenges I faced? Well, the main challenge was my own sense that I didn't have what it took to raise any money, my own lack of confidence in other words. Um, this is not a new thing for me, uh, quite common. <laughs> um, I got over that by listening to, again to advice from my very close friends whose art practice and um, personal integrity I have massive respect for. Uh, mainly Sean Torrington who's a visual artist and my bestie. Um, and I constantly checked in with her, so it wasn't just something I talked with her about once, but I talked with her about it at every stage when the anxiety was very high. Um, what was the biggest surprise during the process? Well, the biggest surprise was how keen people were to help me and how much love they showed me. It was incredible um, to have all of that support and aroha be so manifest in, in the form of actual money. So personally and professionally, that was the biggest surprise for me, the fact that we exceeded the total that I aimed for, and we did that, you know, before before it was even um, finished, the campaign. Uh, what advice would I give other artists who are thinking about running a campaign? Well, my main piece of advice, to be honest, would be don't wait until um, the month of the campaign, or even two months before the campaign, or even six months before the campaign, if possible, to start uh, garnering your support. I mean, I I started gathering email addresses and s supporters' names about 20 years ago. So um, when I think about it, it would have been pretty stink if, given the number of people I'd contacted over that over that time, over those decades, if I hadn't been able to raise, um, you know, the, the money that I did. So yeah, that would be my advice. Um, start now with uh, securing your support and beginning to communicate regularly with your um, supporters and the people who, I kind of think of them as investors. That's the other piece of advice I would give is if you feel stink about asking for money, which I think is a very Kiwi thing, I don't know, maybe it's just a very human thing. Um, think of it as, this is how I do it, in terms of self-promotion, it makes my skin crawl. But I think of it as, well, these people have actually invested in me for many years now. Uh, they have expressed their support and uh, bought my stuff. Uh, you know, generally shown me heaps of love. And it's the least I can do to support myself in return, you know, to back myself. So... Yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, once again, thanks to everyone at Boosted. It was an amazing experience. And um, yeah, if there's anything else I can do to help, just let me know. It's, a, it's an amazing co-papa. Okay, kia ora.